Holy smokes, it ain't no jokes. We got some breaking XRP news. Is XRP going to be settling or Ripple's going to be settling its SEC lawsuit in a very short period of time? I'll tell you all of that. And is XRP ready to break out to 200? We're going to talk about all that. All I ask is to give me a beautiful smile. To send out the good good vibes smishity smash that like button because likes are for free and now let's take a look at xrp which is currently at 0 0.62 up 3.86 percent on the day xrp ever since we had the one year anniversary for xrp that uh the initial you know court case update that basically said that XRP is not a security, right? Since then, uh, it, well, you know, in, in well, basically um, for, for retail investors. Uh, and that was July 13, 23. XRP went up 100% on that day and then pulled back a little bit. And then since July 13th, uh, 2024, right? Well, even before that, but that was, you know, the dip uh, coming in from July 4th uh, and, and 5th uh, sell-offs uh, for the general market. XRP is currently, if you bought the dip, right? But I know not a lot of people bought the dip. You would be up 62% on XRP in the last 20 days. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Uh, I have to disclose that I have been uh, swing trading XRP um, with these movements um, on our partner Margex that allows you to do up to 50x on XRP. So if you are interested, link is in the description down below. You can do up to 50x on XRP. You can go long, you can go short, whatever your heart desires. There's no KYC when you sign up, uh, plus uh, you get $50 once you sign up and another $50 once you deposit $100. That goes into your account uh, for your commissions. And you'll get another 20% kicker on your deposits if you use my special code. Um, it's not available in every country, uh, so see if it's available for you. And they have a $5 million HMSTR airdrop that's going on currently. So if you're interested in that, check it out in the description down below. But please, please, please trade responsibly. I know leverage is not for everybody. You can make a lot of money, but you can lose a lot of money. I've been on both sides of the coin, <laughs> um, so I can tell you it's 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 uh, it's it can be a very important tool but it can also be a very addictive tool so please trade responsibly okay so xrp has been one of the bright uh lights here today on a day where the market has not been very good right ethereum is down four percent uh, on the second day of the ethereum etf um, trading this was something that we i kind of anticipated because of what we saw with the bitcoin etf that sold off also after it started trading uh because of initial massive uh sell-offs from grayscale because they put their fees so high i don't understand them but you know it is what it is uh and we're seeing xrp uh pretty nicely hold here right if we look at the one hour chart you can see xrp hits the top of the stochastic rsi and has pulled back a little bit so the high was around 63 cents uh and now we're sitting at 62.23 so it has held very nicely except there was a little bit of a a dip here and, and in the past uh five ten minutes we are seeing everything kind of fall off here right so xrp is moving a width but xrp actually has been showing uh, in the past few days because i have been like i said i have been swinging it day trading it um it has been showing that it does not necessarily move with the market meaning that yes uh you know if you have a big sell-off like we're seeing right now it will right but as you can see for example ethereum is down on the over the last hour about four percent eight hours right uh and bitcoin is also down uh you know over the last uh, four hours about two percent whereas xrp has been you know pretty flat here over the last eight hours you know uh one percent even even less if you go like the last eight hours right you know uh one one and a half percent so it's more or less consolidating here uh around this level after it made a nice run up earlier this morning so i've noticed that in the past few days that it's kind of banging to its own beat right its own drum right uh, so that's very interesting that xrp is doing this now what was the big news right that could be why we're seeing xrp up today well 
Ripple CEO says he's confident in the SEC lawsuit resolution after next week's meeting. Right, this is coming from Bloomberg. Right, so Bloomberg, um, I, I have you know there's some news outlets, uh, for example Reuters, right, that I would not trust. They put out a lot of misinformation, a lot of wrong information, right. But Bloomberg is usually okay, right. And it says, according to Bloomberg, Ripple CEO expects the company to soon resolve its year -longs, years long lawsuit with the US SEC. It is speculated that XRP will be announced uh, a settlement after a closed door meeting with the US SEC next week. Now, I know that we have uh, already seen many times, well, it's coming this week, it's coming next week, there's a closed door, right? People were thinking that uh, on uh, July 3rd, when we saw that big pop-up, it was because of the closed door meeting. And, and I knew that it was because it was the anniversary. Um, but uh, this is important to say that, um, you know, this initially was expected last week, right, on July 13th. It's now postponed to th Thursday, July 25th. This delay, as noted on the SEC website, has heightened anticipation among crypto traders. The meeting agenda includes critical topics such as institutions and settlement of administration proceedings, resolution of litigation claims and other examination related matters despite the rescheduling the market remains hopeful about positive outcome right uh, notably a year has passed since judge torres pivotal summary judgment which legally declared xrp is not a security the judge has been influ influential inspiring similar rulings in cases like binance and challenging the sec stance under chair gansler and it seems that gary gansler uh, is not going to be uh, is not like <laughs> When did this start, right? <laughs> that was some technical difficulty time. <laughs> um, we have seen reports that Gary Gensler will potentially not be continuing as the chair of the SEC, uh, despite whoever wins, right? Uh, the presidential election. Um, so, so we'll see what happens here. Hopefully this gets finally, right? Resolved for XRP. Uh, it's been a long, long time. And it's been very hard to be an XRP holder. The price hasn't moved much in the past few years. Um, so I understand. I feel it. I feel the the pain of XRP holders. But you know, the silver lining is, yes, it's it's not moved much, but it's also not crashed much. <laughs> so that's like a silver lining, right? <laughs> um, but a lot of people are anticipating, you know, high, higher highs here for, uh, for XRP. We're seeing the whales that went on an 84 million buying spree to lock down 140 million tokens so that's coming uh from uh, crypto analyst ali martinez recently showed the on-chain data uh and um over the past week you know makes sense because the price has been going up that we would see buying pressure right uh, for xrp uh and so you know if we look on the weekly we can see that um you know it hit the bottom of the stochastic rsi and popped up from there right also here you can see on the weekly boom popped up on the bottom weekly popped up so it's following a pattern here on the weekly and we see the last three weeks it's been up uh, very nicely but we're seeing this you know xrp targets 320 even 200 uh, exploring the possibilities right uh, xrp has been trading with a giant symmetrical triangle for plus four years the question is will it break out uh, and it, when it breaks out right what are the targets right so you know here long uh, midterm target 125 157 3 um and you know people have posted before i've seen videos 200 10,000 right listen let's get you know the the high here right was in uh, 2021 was around 2 right um i think it was a little bit higher before that but the graph doesn't cuz this is a binance graph right um let's get first to one right <laughs> let's get xrp back to one it hasn't been over one uh since 2021 right it's rhymes there let's see xrp over one dollar and then right we can start talking about potential you know movements we'll see because in the previous bull market in 2021 xrp had the lawsuit you know cloud over its head Maybe this time the cloud will be removed and then it will be able to move like the rest of the crypto market. Although, you know, XRP is already six on the market cap list. So let's say it, you know, gets back to three, maybe, right? Um, that Where it has been before. Um, so that's a possibility that could happen. Uh, but I'm, you know, saying slowly, slowly, let's get 
uh, you know, shway shway, a small small, it, it translates. Let's get past, you know, to one dollar. Even on July 13, 2023, XRP did not get to one dollar. It got close, right? But it didn't get to one dollar. Let's see, you know, we don't want to jump ahead ahead of ourselves too much, right? Uh, let's see us get, you know, to one dollar, and then we can talk about two dollars, three dollars, five dollars. You know, what, what did it say here? Uh, hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three twenty, or even two hundred. Right? Of course, we can throw out numbers, any numbers that we want. Potentially down the line, we don't know how may, how much crypto will be worth. Right? The the total market cap, um, XRP, you know, integrates into all the financial systems. It could be huge. Uh, but you know, the question is, what will the price be? And that's you know, that's anybody can throw out a number there. I say let's get you know past one dollar. Let's get past you know these levels, and we'll see from there. Okay. Uh, so, of course, not financial advice, and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. And don't forget to check out the links in the description down below. If you're interested, I have a video up here a little bit about leverage if you're interested in that as well. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.